Great seeing you back for Devos today. All this week, I'm talking to you about how to have hope. What to have hope for. I know that life can be really hard, and I thank God that you've joined me uh, to come to the Lord today. So I just kind of want to give you a, like a, a punch in the gut with this. So I don't want you whining and crying all the time about how life, bad life is, because as believers, we have a lot of things to thank God for and to have hope in. So we have hope that his protection relieves our fear. Now, if there's any one sin that maybe you ought to confess to the Lord, and that is to be afraid. Now, the only one that you ever ought to fear is God himself. You see, we love God, and we know that God loves us. But you know, we have to have a holy reverence for God. You know, you just can't do whatever you want to do. Okay, now that's one subject all by itself. But things that happen in this life, it's human. But as believers, we should thank God for his protection. And so I want you to look here with me at Romans 8, 31. What then shall we say to these things? Talk about troubles. If God is for us, I mean, who can be against us? Hey, let me tell you, I would rather be all alone as a human being and standing with God and have the whole world against me than to have the whole world for me and have God against me. So listen, if you have the Lord, God's protection is enough, and we have hope in him because of it. So let me ask you, what, what are you afraid of? Maybe you ought to jot that down. Okay, now, whatever, if you're, you're afraid of this virus, if you're, you're afraid of what's going on with our government, now, it's okay to get mad about what's going on in the government, and, and then you got to let it go. Pray about it, do the right thing. But as believers, we shouldn't be scared, okay, because God is going to protect us. I, my, my kids, one time, they, they got this little miniature collie. I, I couldn't stand that dog. He just got on my nerves. So he, he weighed about 15 pounds and uh, here, one day, the police stopped by the church, and they said there was a very dangerous Rottweiler that was attacking people around the area. And if we saw it, not to go near it. Well, I walked from the church back to my house, which was right behind us, and as I was walking over there, all of a sudden, out of the weeds came this vicious Rottweiler, and he got down for attack. I mean, I just froze. I mean, I, my, my heart was skipping beats. Well, just then, this little teeny tiny miniature pipsqueak little miniature collie, his, his name is Skippy, came skipping off that porch, and he got into the face of this Rottweiler and attacked him. I thought, oh my goodness, this is it. I figured that Rottweiler was going to have from lunch. That Rottweiler ran for his life. Okay, well, that was it. From that day forward, uh, Skippy was the man. That, that, that was it. I mean, he got treats. I treated him like gold. Now, look with me here in Mark chapter 4, verse 40. Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? <laughs> Listen, if God could use a little, uh, God use a little doggy to save me. <laughs> I mean, God's more powerful than anything, right? Listen, if we have faith, then we would trust God and we wouldn't be afraid. So Jesus is saying, why is it you don't have faith? I mean, that's like an insult to God for him to know that you don't think he's going to take care of you. Now, here, you old people. I got one for you, Ray. Isaiah 46, verse 4. Even to your old age, and I didn't say we're old age wise, I am he and two gray hairs I will carry you. I like that. He says, listen, I will take care of you. From the time you're young to you are very old, you are not going to go home one day earlier than what God has planned. In life, be prepared to be scared. <laughs> That's, you say, okay, so something comes along and it really scares you, it really frightens you. Okay, then you pull it together. And you say, oh, God, I ask for forgiveness. I'm afraid of this. this. This is silly. I shouldn't be afraid of this because I know that you're in control. Your faith ought to be bigger than your fear. So this day, I want you to have hope and say, God, I know that you're bigger in my problem, and I know you're going to protect me and get me through this, and I thank you for that.